What is up, YouTube? This is Chase Bristow, the Game Nomad, coming at you, um, with Slayer. How's everybody doing? It's just fine. Monday evening. I don't know if I'm going to be able to upload this because I could not pay my phone bill. But... Whatever evening this is uploaded, probably going to be Thursday after I pay my phone bill. I have a very special video for those who are thinking about living in storage. Like a couple of packed up UPS boxes. A couple of tips. Let me show you around. I showed you my elevator. Mm. In my elevator, my uh, my unit. I'll get a better video of it when there's better lighting. Um, but I'm going to give you some tips and pointers. Fabulous tips and pointers here for a successful stay in a storage unit. Pointer number one. Time. Time is everything. Tick tock. Let me show you what I mean. So y'all thinking about getting a storage unit to live in, right? That's what you're here for. Let me, allow me to introduce to you. Okay. First off, before I introduce anything, if you're thinking about this kind of scenario, Make damn sure that it's not 24-hour access. You don't want people in co coming and going. You're not trying to spend the night at the 7-Eleven. You're trying to get a restful night's sleep and get rid of those terrible bags under your eyes from living in a tent or on a park bench. Am I right? All right, guys. So make damn sure that it's not 24-hour access. And when you go, just go inside. Make sure. Currently closed. Okay. You've got to make sure that. Okay, pardon me for the moment of silence. I had to go into a little bit of survival mode. Um, make sure your ass is getting inside as close, as close to closing as possible. That way. There won't be any people here. And, um... Yeah, make sure it's as close to closing time as possible when you get in. And if people are here, act like you're getting something out or waiting for a friend and go smoke a cigarette outside. For all you smokers out there, Go outside, act like you're waiting for a friend to help you with your storage stuff. Smoke a cigarette. Play on your phone like you're, like you're texting somebody. Stuff like that. Pretend to be busy and taking care of business. And do that all the way up until the time it closes. For me, it's nine. Closes at nine. Now, another thing to remember, and I'll show you. This is key. A lot of people overthink this, but this is key right here. No, never overthink. 
you don't want to overthink. You will be paranoid. You will sleep worse than you did when you were on that park bench. Because this is a building that creaks. The elevator uh, motors do run at night. I do hear that. Nothing to worry about. Also, that camera up there, that security camera, ain't no thing, ain't no thing at all. They ain't, they don't have somebody sitting by the office checking the security camera all hours of the night. Nobody's in that office, and if there is no suspicious activity at night and nothing reported, they will not check the camera. They will just keep going. So don't overthink. Don't want to overthink that shit. You'll lose sleep. And yes, the walls rattle, the lights come on, on occasion, on and off, all night, because maybe a bug flies in front of the sensor or something. These lights, they're motion activated. And yeah, at first I was a little bit terrified. Let me uh, show you what I mean if there's any off, because somebody did just leave. Okay, see, look, hallway. See, walk down, lights turn on. Ain't no thing, ain't no thing at all. I mean, you, um, you don't have to worry. Only worry if you hear footsteps and walkie talkies. And the elevator actually dinging and the door is opening. That's when you start panicking. I mean, hell. I have, uh, I've actually turned on some porn hub and fab right out here. I ain't gonna front, I ain't gonna lie. Watched two twinks go at it on porn hub. It was fucking fantastic. And the thrill of being out in the open like this. In a public place where people go all the time. That was fucking fanatical. Oh. Now, I'm going to go back downstairs. I gotta call my best friend Fred up and um, my buddy Mark. Mark, how you doing? I heard your mom picked you up because you've been smoking weed and um, drinking and everything. I heard you called the cops. Oh my god, I just said that on YouTube. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, Mark, I hope you're doing alright. I hope you're not too upset about anything. Uh, yeah, Mark and I, we were at the park, and all of a sudden, so I was told, his mother picked him up and called the police because he's sitting there smoking weed and cigarettes and God knows what else. And he's drinking. And I have told him multiple times, he needs to stop. He's only 16. The kid needs to quit with the shit and have a normal life. I've been telling him that. Because I don't want him making the same mistakes as I have. I don't worry about that guy. Anyway, this is not about my best friend, Mark. This is about how to live in a storage unit. Um... I wish he would just, but, you know, I wish he would take some lessons from me, you know, lessons meaning see how I live every day and not make the same mistakes because he is always hanging out the park with me, but I digress, I digress big time. I'm going to call Fred, I need to call my best friend Fred, him and I were going to the ball drop together in Times Square, um... Mark, I'm sorry I blabbed about your uh, little habits on YouTube. But in my defense, you uh, you blabbed a lot of stuff, too, about me. Because you were too high to keep that mouth shut. Oh, well. I hope things work out for you. Anyway, I hope to see you at the park. Unless your punishment was severe by your mom. I don't know. Uh, anyway. Why the hell am I leaving a message for my best friend on a YouTube video? That is fucking retarded. Uh, and by the way, uh, when you, Mark, when you call me, uh, 
retarded or stupid, uh, my response to you is going to be, Dropout says what? Dropout says what? <laughs> yeah, he dropped out of high school. Probably to go get high or something, I don't know. I worry about him. I genuinely worry about that boy. Because I want to be a mentor and make sure he does not make the same mistakes as I do. Why is it segueing into Mark's addiction problems? God damn it. Oh, hell. I gotta like, call my friend Fred. Get the hell off here. Y'all like, share, subscribe, do something nice for somebody else, do something nice for yourself. And as always, stay golden.